Hello and welcome to your second programming iOS 5 tutorial with Xcode 4.2. Uh, this tutorial carries on from our first tutorial where we said we were going to introduce a button and a label and have a function called on the click of the button that will display some text in that label. Um, we can achieve all of this in about six lines of Objective-C code of which Xcode will probably write about a couple of those for us anyway. So let's get started. I'm just going to put a label in to start with into our interface. Let's make that a little bit bigger. And we'll center the text alignment. We'll change the background color to something we can see on the red. Green will do. And just take out that text to make room for the text we'll be adding. Takes care of the label. We'll just bring in the button. Center that also. Name that Click Me. So our interface set up. It's going to hide the navigator pane and open up the assistant editor. This will open up the corresponding view controller header file for our interface, which in this case is hello world view controller.h. And I am going to make an outlet from our label into our view controller. And to do that, I'm going to press and hold control and drag in between interface and dot end. It's going to ask me for a name. I'm going to call that my label and press connect. Now what this has done is it's stored a reference to the label as an instance variable that we've named my label. The second thing we need to do in the header file is create our definition for our button action. So we'll do that now. IB action. We'll call it set message. And we'll just leave ID sender and just finish the line off with a semicolon. And that's our header file complete. Uh, we can now go into our implementation file, our .m. Just load that up. When we added the outlet and got a property, Xcode also added this line here at synthesize my label. What that's doing is it's creating the accessor methods, the setter and getters for that instance variable we named my label. So all we need to do in the implementation file is define our method for the button which we called set message so it's exactly the same as the definition but we'll just open the brackets and then inside the brackets will be the actual contents of the function and we're going to set it to my label which is the name of our instance variable dot text equals the at sign which you use in Objective C before you write text and our text we're going to use you pressed it close the quotes close the line and that's all the Objective C code we need so basically when we press the button the button is going to call our set message function which is going to set our instance variable my label to the text you pressed it and display in our label we created. The last thing we need to do is um, in our interface builder we need to connect the button to our new method set message so we'll do that now in our interface Let's just hide that there's two ways of doing this. The easiest way I find is if you control click 
from the button, drag it out to the files owner. The files owner is the um, the view controller. In this case, Hello World view controller. Let go, and it will give you a list of sent events. We need to select set message. So now, when that button's pressed, it'll call the set message function in the view controller. So now, when we press click me, we would expect to see the words you pressed it appear in our label where that green is. And to prove that's working, we will just build and run the program. Uh, we'll just take a moment to load the simulator up. Build succeeded, no issues, so all typing was correct. And here comes the simulator. So if everything went according to plan and it's all connected correctly, when I click this we should get the text in the green label above. And there we go, so that works. Uh, again, there's nothing groundbreaking here, but it's all one step at a time. And we, in the next tutorial, what we'll do, I think, is when we click the button, we'll have it so it displays an alert view, much as if you would get a text message appear on your screen, you'd get that alert come up. So a different type of functionality. Um, a different type of method and we'll go through that in the next tutorial so thanks for viewing this if you like what you're seeing subscribe and we'll do some more okay thank you i'll see you in the next video